Hi, welcome back again. So we're about to see a debate with myself and Mohammed Hijab. You may have seen him around the park or, um, you know, berating Christian Prince or just embarrassing himself in other ways. Um, listen out for the massive admission that he makes uh, toward the end of the video. Please do like, share, comment, repent, come to Jesus and subscribe. Um, yeah, uh, check it out. I'll see you on the other side. God bless. Bye bye. It doesn't there's, say there a premenstrual. It says before their menses. Yeah. So I'm saying there's two tabs here. One of them He's says going, oh. both male do do. One of them says it could be because they're never going to mention. Like it could be that they have some physical uh, condition. But the other one says or because they are not yet mature. I like your badge. So yeah. So do you find a discrepancy there between you? No, I just I, I think they are. You need to understand how it works. All right, so, um, first of all, there's there's difference of opinion among the scholars. Yes. Uh, do you, if you, because you, you can't. Really, you, right. you, no, no, no. These are Maldudi is not uh, a jurist in that sense. Okay, so is a professor, so he's an exegete. He and by the way, it's not, and that's two scholars. That's not one. Okay. Yeah, I know. I just said I was the two. No, no. Jalalain. Jalalain. Jalalain was written by two people. Oh, I see. I thought yeah. I thought you yeah. did. Yeah. All right. Anyway, um, no, and it was actually um, it's, it's an exegesis. It's not a book of law. So it's important with these masail or these matters for it's written. It's not written in actual words no, 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 in the Quran. The way, no, no, no. So Sharia law <coughs> is from the Quran and Sunnah, Ijma, etc. Ijma meaning the consensus. No, no. All right. So the books of Islamic law usually stipulate what are the, uh, the what are the do's and don'ts in Islam. Sometimes uh, Mufassirs can also contribute to that discussion, but it's not most um, fluidly elucidated yeah. in those books. And what if it contradicts the Quran? The point, okay, what I'm saying is that the way in which jurists, from an Islamic perspective, they come to conclusion is they look at the Quran, and within the Quran, they look at the verses which are not abrogated, and the ones which are clear versus the ones which are not clear. If there's specific verses, uh, when there's general so ones or whatever. I try and hold you to one specific verse which says that which we have allowed, yeah, I'm, no man shall I'm coming. But just so you know the framework. Yeah. Then you have the hadith. Yeah. So after the Quran is that, the Sahih hadith. Then you have different gradations of hadith. So Hassan, Hassan li ghayrihi, yeah. Are those included in the contribution towards Sharia, the Hassan? Yeah. Okay. So even, so th that is contributed towards understanding of Sharia. And then after that you have Ijma. Ijma is um, basically the consensus of the scholars. So the scholars are important in their. So how is it? But that's scholarly. Yeah. yeah. So so when we say consensus, is that when they all yeah, come the together, when they all no, not the majority. Some some the describe it as a majority. Everyone. In ling in language, it actually means everyone. No, because of all the scholars, there's never going to be agreement among all of them. Well, that's so a, a yeah. Climate scientists say such and such, but that's not all of them. I understand. That's a really good point you're making, and I tend to agree with the, the sentiment, but. There's some yeah, things, folks. <laughs> but there's one thing that I was going to say was that there's some. I'm not, I wasn't talking about climate change. I was. I'm not a scientist. That's my now. Yeah. But um, so with ijma, with consensus, there's a discussion on it. But the point is this: is that there are some things which are definitely consensus. For example, the five uh, the five prayers a day. Yeah. Which or, or Hajj. Hajj. Hajj is in the Quran. That is, so, yeah. for example, yeah, the five prayers a day, by the way, by. Doesn't it say in the morning and the evening and the middle? So that's only three in my counting. Uh, yeah, but the five prayers will by name and so on and specifics oh, are not in the Quran. But can we get back to that yeah, yeah. which is forbidden? But we need to you need to get the framework first, right? So How long is because when, a big framework? when people say Sharia law, yep. they talk about what's gone through that framework. Yes. Now, invariably. And if it doesn't match the Quran. I would suggest that Sharia is in error in the Muslim. Well, yeah, that's obviously. But yep. the point is, is that the ones who make that decision yep. are scholars amongst themselves, yeah, right? Yeah, they're just human. Yeah, yeah. So they all come to conclusions and so on. Yep. They have the exegetical schools. They try their best to make their come to their conclusion and so on. Yep. So now that we've got that out of the way, yeah. 
uh, the question of now, marrying, so what is a nikah? A nikah in Arabic language is a kind of aqad, which means it's a kind of agreement. Yes, that gets me to track. So the scholars of old, they asked the question, is it possible for someone to have a aqad nikah, which is this agreement to marry, without having consummation of full rights. So for example, this is where the discussion comes. Sorry, without already without. having yeah. consummation. So, so, you can't consummate something that doesn't exist. Do you mean, can they have say, uh, get married so, after they've already married? No, no, no. Had. So for example, the question is, can two people have this nikah agreement? A marriage without any... Without, yeah. Okay. So, so basically that, that person's, it's almost, it works like in... Like a platonic marriage. No, nah, it just works like an engagement. Okay. So the scholars differed on this matter. Yeah, some scholars said, yeah, you can have it. So, for example, in the olden days, say for example, I had a child, I had a daughter or something. Yeah. Within wedlock. Uh, pardon? Within a no, let's say I had a five-year-old daughter. But I'm saying within a marriage context. Your wife had I daughter. had no, I had a daughter. Yeah. Let's say five-year-old daughter, and I say, well, I'm, I've got cancer, or I'm going to go to war, and I think I'm going to die, and so on. Yeah. So, some scholars said, okay, look. I can draft a nikah agreement between my daughter, who's five, oh, right. and a man who's let's say twenty years yeah. old, but there's Just no sex, there's no sexual thing that happens. Yeah. Or would it eventually become that when she's So the when when does it when does it happen? Now the scholars discuss this. They say, for example, as Shaukani says, this is not allowed. Ibn Al-Taymin of our present time says this is not allowed. But some scholars of the madhahib said they're allowed. So I said that these contracts are allowed. That, for example. Uh, if they get to a certain age, let's say 12, 13, 14, whatever age of ability, they call it uh, Qudra, which is ability. Ability to have intercourse. Ability to have intercourse. Yeah. Does that include emotional or like a, so, is it just physical? Primarily it's physical, but it does include psychological as well and mental as well. Because if someone is yeah. is not of mental age or they haven't got the ability to, or they're judged by the people, they're, like their they're, they're seniors to not be mature for marriage, then surely they wouldn't be put in that position. Okay? So what I'd ask then is if Sharia forbids marriage, even in maybe three of the five schools, or if there's any um, prohibition on marrying a girl before her menstrual cycle begins, yet the Quran says this we find permissible and no man will forbid now, what the Quran talks about is divorce, right? Yes. So, the, so if someone has, so the, the verse you're no, no, talking about. Abbas, just, I don't know yeah. what you no, no, I don't know about Abbas. I'm sorry, yeah. I can't, I can't follow different. I can only no, tell you. I, yeah. That's what I brought to you. No, all right. Question. So, in chapter 66 of the Quran, yeah. which means that the ones who have not menstruated yet. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, 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 so let's say that means that they've never had menstruation. Not, not that they're pregnant, or which it could also mean, which it could also mean. Yeah, it could. Let's say. It, no, means. Not yet means they yeah, can't no, no. Be pregnant. No, no, no. Let's say, let's say that's correct. You're yeah. About the first and the third no, no. By the way, some some professors have said this means pregnant woman. And no, they're already included in the. Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. But what I'm saying is, let's take your interpretation or the interpretation, the interpretation of some of the scholars as well. Most of them, I would imagine. Uh, not really, because. because it says, those who are pregnant, fine, so fine. they can't be the same group of people being discussed. It says women who are pregnant, yeah. or women who are too old to mention. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. good point. No, no, you're right. I'm not disagreeing with you. So the ones who have not had menstruation yet. So here, this would refer to prepubescence. Yeah. Now the, this this question of prepubescent marriage. You're correct. Is it prepubescence with intercourse or not? Now, here's what I'm saying is that this can't be because it's haram. I'll tell you why it's haram. Is it, so that's what I'm asking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, there, I'll give you some references and sources right now. If the woman... No, no, it's, it's, you can go. No, go on, I don't even think they're in English. So, I'll tell you and you can check it out. For example, Kitab al-Insaf, written by al-Mirdawi, who is one, it's seen as the final op uh, opinion of the Hanbali Madhab in his Kitab, kitab al-Hudud. Most of that was in Arabic. I'm just going to go yeah. with it. Right yeah. okay. He says, he lists in, in what he called the chapter of Hudud, which is punishment. Chapter of what? Sharia. Punishment. Jurisprudence. Chapter of punishment. Chapter from the Quran. No, no, no. I'm telling you what the scholars have said. And I'm going to give you. Chapter of what I'm asking you. Chapter of Sharia. Yeah, yeah. It's a book, Sharia book. Yeah, or Sharia law, yeah. 
It's what I'm saying. It's the final opinion. It's seen as the final opinion of one of the schools of thought, the Hanbali school. Four. He says, uh, no. Now Sunni, and then you have other schools within the Shia. Sunni, there's four mainstream ones. Yeah. Now, having said that, what he says is that if someone has intercourse in marriage with someone who's a prepubescent. Uh, the question is not whether they're doing the right or wrong thing. The question is whether they should be flogged or not. Whether they should be whipped or not. And he was saying that they should be whipped. So it's still prohibited, they're just now questioning what's the appropriate Yeah, so in other words, according to Al-Mirdawi... So I would come back to you, how can they prohibit something which the Quran says... No, but the Quran never talks about, sorry to cut you off. I know the verse off my heart, right? Yeah, yeah, and I can recite the whole surah of Baha. But here's what I'm saying is this is that from the beginning of that surah, it doesn't say sexual intercourse. Well, it, I appreciate that, but right. marriage, so, uh, so I would say, your consensus of opinion is that marriage includes betrothal, uh, like you were saying, like, like, you feel that you're going to say, you're going to say, eventually, you can take this wife for the moment, you'll be a protector, a companion, maybe a parent, a figure. What's the name again? Okay. Uh, I don't shake hands with you now. No, not even. You know this already. Do I? Yeah, anyways. It's just you. No, you've been here already. Just the Bible. But here's what I was going to say to you, right? As I said to you before, in Islam, there are these distinctions. Now you're saying in, 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 in I'm culture. The Quran should supersede them. The Quran doesn't. Your uh, listen, very clearly. The Quran never says that Nikah yaqtadi al jama'ah, which means it never says. Is it a generic uh, verse? Is it saying anything that the Quran ordains as acceptable? Look, we have to forbid that. Let me say this all the time. We grow, we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow. I just need to make this very. I want to make this very clear for you, right? I've said to you before that this nikah agreement, according to Ibn Qudam al maqdisi he wrote a book called Al-Mughni, and, and, the, and the chapter is Babu al-Nikah. He mentions that nikah is like aqt, which means any agreement, any business agreement, any deal. Now here's what, what I'm saying to you is that the scholars of old, they debated, debated on whether or not it's possible, say if I've got a daughter, I can... That's betrothal though, is my right, right, right. it's but not marriage. Wh you know, whatever, but marriage the point... Saying, can you please... Yeah, yeah, no, how, how, this is the question. Now, what if she gets to the age and she says, I don't want to get married, I don't want it. Now, as Shaukani says, if she says, one other scholar, he says, if she gets to the age uh, that of the discernment, majority. of discernment, yep. and she gets to the age of ability, and she doesn't want to be with this person who her father suited her with, yep. then she can reject it based on the hadith. Al Bikru to step then, based on the hadith that the virgin has to be asked for her permission before marriage takes place. Yeah. So how do they do jama? Shaukani says that the way he does jama between the hadith or he puts them together and the ayah and so on and so forth in the Quran is that he says that okay, you can have a nikah technically with someone who hasn't reached the age of the discernment yet. Yet when she gets to the age, she can decide whether or not. Yeah, number one, number two, that he can't have sex with her until she gets to the age of ability. Some minutes. There's never going to be agreement among all of them. Well, that's uh, the consensus of climate scientists say such and such, but that's not all of them. I understand that's, that's yeah. a big point you're making, and I tend to agree with the sentiment, but there's something. Yeah, climate what, change. <laughs> but there's one thing that I was going to say was that there's something that I was going to climate change. I'm not. That's my exegesis. Okay. Um, so, both of them are with consensus. There's a discussion on it, but the point is just is that there are some things which are definitely consensus. For example, the five, the five prayers a day, yeah, which or, or Hajj, Hajj, Hajj is the Quran. That is. So, for example, yeah, the five prayers a day. By the way, by. Doesn't it say in the morning and the evening and the middle? So that's only three in my counting. Uh, yeah, but the five prayers will by name and so on and oh, specifics are not in the Quran. Can we get back to that yeah, yeah. which is forbidden? But we need to we need to get the framework first, right? So yeah, look, because when, big framework. when people say Sharia law, yeah. they talk about what's gone through that framework. Yes. Now, invariably, if it doesn't match the Quran. I would suggest that Sharia is in error in the Muslim. Well, perspective. yeah, that's obviously, but. Yeah. The the point is, is that the ones who make that decision are scholars amongst themselves, yeah, right? Yeah, they're just human. Yeah, yeah, so they all come to conclusions and so on. Yep. They have the exegetical schools. They try their best to make their to come to their conclusion and so on. Yep. So now that we've got that out of the way, yeah. uh, the question of now, 
marrying. So what is a nikah? A nikah in Arabic language is a kind of aqad, which means there's a kind of agreement. Yes, like a so, contract. Yeah, so, and so the scholars of old, they asked the question, is it possible for someone to have a aqad nikah, which is this agreement to marry, without having consummation or full rights. So for example, this is where the discussion comes. Sorry, without, without having... Yeah. So, so, you can't consummate something that doesn't exist. Do you mean, can they have set, uh, get married so, after they've already... No, no, no. Married? So for example, the question is, can two people have this nikah agreement? A marriage without any... Without, yeah. Okay. So so basically that, that person's... It's almost... It works like in... Like a platonic marriage. No, nah, it just works like an engagement. Okay. So the scho scholars differed on this matter. Yeah, some scholars said, yeah, you can have it. So, for example, in the olden days, say for example, I had a child, I had a daughter or something. Yeah. Within what? Uh, pardon? Within a no, let's say I had a five-year-old daughter. But I'm saying within a marriage context. I had no. I had a daughter. Yeah. Let's say five-year-old daughter, yeah. and I say, well, I'm go I've got cancer, or I'm going to go to war, and I think I'm going to die, and so on. Yeah. So, some scholars said, okay, look. I can draft a nikah agreement between my daughter who's five and a man who's let's say 20 years old but there's no sex there's no sexual thing that happens yeah would it eventually become that when she so when when does it when does it happen now the scholars discuss this they say for example a shokani says this is not allowed if not say mean of our present time says this is not allowed but some scholars of the madhahib said they're allowed so I said that these contracts are allowed that for example uh, if they get to a certain age, let's say 12, 13, 14, whatever age of ability, they call it uh, Qudra, which is ability. Ability, is that? Pardon? ability. ability to accept No, no, no. Ability to have intercourse. Yeah. Does that include emotional or like a, so just physical? Primarily it's physical, but it does include psychological as well and mental as well. Because if someone is yeah. is not of mental age or they haven't got the ability to, or they're judged by the people, they're, like their they're, they're seniors to not be mature for marriage, then surely they wouldn't be put in that position. Okay. So what I'd ask is if Sharia forbids marriage, even in maybe three of the five schools, or if there's any um, prohibition on marrying a girl before her menstrual cycle begins, yet the Quran says this we find permissible and no man will forbid Now, that. what the Quran talks about is divorce, right? Yes. So, the, so if someone has, so the, the verse you're talking about. I don't know yeah. what you're No, no, I don't know about Abbas. I'm sorry, yeah. I, I can't. I can't follow different. I can only tell you. I, yeah. No, all right. Question. So, in chapter 66 of the Quran, yeah. Yeah. which means that the ones who have not menstruated yet. Yeah. 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 All right. So, 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 so let's say that means that they've never had menstruation. Not, not that they're pregnant, or which it could also mean. Which it could also mean. Yeah, it could. Let's say it no, means. Not yet menstruated means they yeah, can't no, no. be pregnant. They're no, no, no. Let's say, let's say that's correct. You're yeah. You're talking about the first and the third category. No, no. By the way, some some professors have said this means pregnant woman. And no, they're already included in the. Place. Yeah, yeah. Fine, fine, fine. But what I'm saying is, let's take your interpretation or the interpretation, the interpretation of some of the scholars as well. Most of them, I would imagine. Uh, not really, because. It says all those who are pregnant. Fine, fine. They can't be the same group of people being discussed. It says women who are pregnant. Yeah. Or women who are too old. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah good point. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm not disagreeing with you. So the ones who have not had the menstruation yet. So here, this would refer to prepubescence. Yeah. Now the, this this question of prepubescent marriage. You're correct. Is it prepubescence with intercourse or not? Now here's what I'm saying is that this can't be because it's haram. I'll tell you why it's haram. Is it? So that's what I'm asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there, I'll give you some references and sources right now. If the woman, no, no, it's, it's, you can go. Oh, you go I don't even think they're in English, so I'll tell you and you can check it out. For example, Kitabul Insaf, written by Nidawi, who is one seen as the final op opinion of the Hanbali Madhab in his Kitab Kitabul Hudud. Most of that was in Arabic. I'm just going to go yeah. with yeah. He says he lists in, in what he called the chapter of Hudud, which is punishment. Chapter of what? Sharia. Punishment. Chapter of punishment. Chapter from the Quran. 
Yeah, no, 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 I'm telling you what the scholars have said, and I'm going to give you... A chapter of what I'm asking you, a chapter of Sharia... Yeah, yeah, it's a book, Sharia book, yeah, or Sharia law, yeah? It's what I'm saying, it's the final opinion, it's seen as the final opinion of one of the schools of thought, the Hanbali school, four. He says... Uh, no. Now, uh, Sunni, and then you have other schools within the Shia. Sunni, there's four, mainstream ones, yeah? Now, having said that, what he says is that if someone has intercourse in marriage with someone who's a prepubescent, uh, the question is not whether they're doing the right or wrong thing. The question is whether they should be flogged or not, whether they should be whipped or not. And he was saying that they should be whipped. So it's still prohibited, they're just now questioning what's the appropriate Yeah, so in other words, according to Al-Mirdawi... So I would come back to you, how can they prohibit something which the Quran says... No, but the Quran never talks about, sorry to cut you off. I know the verse. I know the verse of Baha, right? Yeah, yeah, and I can recite the whole surah of Baha. But here's what I'm saying is this, is that... From the beginning of that surah, it doesn't say sexual intercourse. I appreciate that, Right, so... What's the name again? Okay. Right, I don't shake hands with you. No, not even. You know this already. Do I? Yeah, anyway. You've been here already. Just the but here's what I was going to say to you, right? As I said to you before, in Islam, there are these distinctions. Now you're saying in, 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 in I'm culture. The Quran should supersede them. The Quran doesn't. Uh, listen, very clearly. The Quran One never says that nikah yaktadi al jama'ah, which means it never says. Is it a generic uh, verse? Is it saying anything that the Quran ordains is acceptable? Look, we have okay. to forbid that. Let me so say this one more time. We grow, we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow, we grow. I just need to make this very. I, mean, I want to make this very clear for you, all right? I've said to you before that this nikah agreement, according to Ibn Qudam al Maqdisi, he wrote a book called Al Mughni, and, he, and, the, and the chapter is Bab al Nikah. He mentions that nikah is like aqt, which means any agreement, any business agreement, any deal. Now, here's what, what I'm saying to you is that the scholars of old, they debated, debated on whether or not it's possible to say, if I've got a daughter, I can. That's yeah. Right, right, right. It's but not marriage. You're whatever. Not doing a but marriage ceremony. the point. Say, can you please? Yeah, yeah. No, how, how, this is the question. Now, what if she gets to the age and she says, I don't want to get married, I don't want it. Now, as Shalkani says, if she says, one other scholar, he says, if she gets to the age uh, that of the discernment, majority. of discernment, yep. and she gets to the age of ability, and she doesn't want to be with this person who her father suited her with, yep. then she can reject it based on the hadith. Al Bikru to step then, based on the hadith that the virgin has to be asked for her permission before marriage takes place. Yeah. So how do they do jama? Shaukani says that the way he does jama between the hadith or he puts them together and the ayah and so on and so forth in the Quran is that he says that okay you can have a nikah technically with someone who hasn't reached the age of the discernment yet. Yet when she gets to the age she can decide whether or not. Yeah, number one, number two, that he can't have sex with her until she gets to the age of ability. Now, no, if I, that's no, that's different. Arranged okay. marriage is, so is consensual from both sides. So just, 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 just your question on chapter 66, yep. verse 5. Yep. What I was saying is, even if we take your interpretation as the only interpretation, which it isn't, there is more than one interpretation. No problem. Let's take your one as the correct one. Yep. So the one of, like, she's never had a pu she's never had puberty before. Yep. Well, let, let They've never had it before, and it's a strong opinion, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. because they're, uh, because. It says lem. It's, 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 lem is usually Arabic for in the past. Yeah, no problem. You're right. Now the question is, does that mean that there had to be a marriage of sexual? Right, right. So fine. So what's the for issue? A divorce, for divorce in Western law, at least there needs to be consummation to need it. But, but the Quran says, if I get married sorry, sorry. And, I, and my husband can prove that we yeah. not consummate the marriage, he can just negate or annul oh, but his, that marriage. Good, good. But my other question is, yeah, yeah. is it a generic verse in the Quran ah. that says that which we find permissible, you will not? Forbid. The Quran also says that if you divorce your wives and you never touched them before. Yeah. Which makes it possible that you can divorce someone that you haven't had sex with. But is 65.4 speaking Pardon? about that? Is, t is the verse... Is no, no, no. Ch chapter 60, what, chapter 66, uh, 6, not yeah, 65. 66. Uh, sorry, 65. sorry, 65. 65. 65. So it's the Talaka 65. So 65, verse 4. 
What it talks about is that if you, it says it's a gener generic, right? right? Generic verse. Agreed. Uh, well, it's all women of this category. Yes. Women of there you have it. Yeah. Now, so we say that's a generic verse. The only thing that can do it the of it is of something which is uh, 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 specifier. Yeah. So there's two specifiers the scholars use. One, the fact that Prophet Muhammad if we take the hadith of six to nine, no, 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 that, that he waited before he, because he married at six and then he consummated me nine. So for that, for that waiting period, to No, no, no. When the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu was alive, yes. there was no need for anyone else to be able to do judgment than him. But when they were reciting the Quran, when they got to the verse that said that which Allah finds permissible, no man shall forbid, surely that is clear and concise. So what's the Allah problem? I, yeah, okay, fine, I agree. So if yeah. Sharia then forbids that. Forbids what? Uh, anything that's permissible within the Quran. No, but by definition, Sharia is an attempt to understand it's the Quran. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I just know during the previous, not the conversation between you and I, I heard someone else say that even though 65 4 says this, Sharia forbids marriage of other No, no, no. Okay, well, that's that's a discussion that I. No, I know. Yeah, right. I'm a different idea. person. What I'm saying to you is clear. Let me be clear. 65 4 is Yeah? Well, the ones who have never had uh, yeah. menstruated before. Yes. If we say that this means that women, girls that are pre mature, pre that have not had periods before, yeah, we can accept this. No problem. Yeah, I'll accept that person, uh, that, that interpretation. I'll say fine. But does it say in the verse that they can have sex with the man? It doesn't say that. As I said to you before, the Quran makes it explicitly clear in sort of in sort of that is without No, no, no. It says that if in the Quran it says that if you have touched her. Then you have, if you have touched her, then you don't have to give her mahar back. In other words, her dowry back. Yeah. If you haven't touched her, then, and you divorce her, then you don't, you don't have to get, you give her a mahar back. In other words, it's conceivable to, excuse me, it's conceivable to marry and not touch. Yeah, and that is a form of marriage which existed. It's actually not a marriage. It's a, in, 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 in vernacular terms, we would refer to it as a contract of some sort. Yeah. So what I'm saying is this: that is, is that. Muta. It's not. That you, is look, let me just. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no problem. No, no, it's the opposite. He's saying without look, sex. Yeah, so I'm saying without sex. Exactly. Thank you very much. Yeah, someone who understands a little bit of what I'm trying to say. So here. <laughs> yeah, it, no, that's fine. Just leave him. He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a he's a young he's a young man. He's, obviously, all the ladies are, are very attracted <laughs> to him. Thank you. Very attracted. Now. Lying is a sin. You know. Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> and it, no, no, no. no some, some women are definitely. Beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. Okay. So having said that. What I'm trying to say is this, is that, so when the Quran says, well, la yahid, and this is that if we put jama'a adilla, or put all the dalils together, which we have to do as part of the, the method, then you'll find that the, the Quran says, yes, the ones who, you, 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 who, who have never had, but it also says, uh, the hadith says, which is the qaida, which means you can't harm or reciprocate harm, which is the principle that everyone uses to say that you can't have intercourse with, with someone who's pretty personal or unable. The second thing they use is they use the, the fact that Prophet waited before he did it with Aisha. So what, what's the point of the wait? Are we are we um, so, are we assuming from yeah. that Aisha had menstruated by yeah. the time she nine. was eight slash nine? nine. She was she not. She eight. wasn't eight. No, no. She says nine and a half. She says eight in brackets. Nine. No, not eight. No, it's eight. eight, eight nine. 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 No, no, by her. But I don't know. No, no, it's not. I was playing with the dog. No, no, no. Can I ask something? I think this is a story. However, however, however. You've spent a lot of time explaining it very much. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. But why is there no, I mean, you can't know the mind of God, but why is there no category within 65 for those marriages that don't contain sexual relations? Because, no, no, because. It's just talking about categories that are not types We had this discussion before. There's some things that are not, like the Quran is like, the constitution no, the quran is like the constitution and the hadith is like the laws so it expects extra right places. so what yeah, you need elaboration yes. that's why i say to quran alone i actually made this argument that you're making i said that if you only took a quranic understanding then it would be permissible for you to have sex with minors yes the only way to get away from that is to have hadith exp expansion yes. if you only took the quran you're right if the, the quran was the only thing i have a video on this with quran loners if you only looked at the quran Based on the verse in the Quran 65.4, yes. it would be permissible to have sex with minors. Of but what I'm saying is that we don't just take Quran. So we take Quran and Hadith. And as a result of that, because of the actions of the Prophet and his saying that you can't harm anyone, 
the jurists have said, for example, I've mentioned Mirdawi in his book Al Insaf and his chapter of Hadood. He mentions anyone who has sex with a ch a someone who's under the age of puberty. Within marriage, or it doesn't matter. Yeah, within marriage, they they're whipped. So in other words, they're flogged in public. Yeah. Now there's a question, there's a, the scholars, he said the Hanbali scholars, they're different. Some said that they are whipped and some said they're not whipped. The point is this, is that why is he talking about punishment in marriage? If, yeah, so, so this is something, what I'm saying is Islam is actually the only religion, in my understanding, especially of the Abrahamic religions, which makes it so explicitly clear that in fact having intercourse with unable people, whether they be minors or not, by the way, because they can be someone who's a mental, mentally, mentally or ill, or, or by the way, like in the law now, can I ask you a question? Yeah. If I wanted to have sex with a 75 year old, me, yeah? It's yeah? legal. It's legal. But if I had, I, I guarantee you, if I had sex with a 70, sorry, but not for me. So if someone, right, to be fair, okay, you're, you're saying yourself. Okay. I don't mean, no, no, no. I mean, you're Listen, large I'm, what I'm saying is, but is it illegal? No, it's haram though, so. it's haram. If, if, I, if I went and married... So he's eating pork and that's not illegal. What I'm saying is that... The, 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 the one size fits all policy of OK 15, 16... And by the way, I don't care about that. I'm not even against the age of consent. But I'm yep. saying that there should be, it should be more nuance. I'm saying no, that... It, no, 16 is quite... Look, no problem. Right. I'm saying it's more nuanced well, in a sense. Yeah, over 16 and without the emotional look, capacity. That's no problem, no problem. Know, yeah. I'm saying that, look, in the, in the day and age we live now, yes. I actually would... I would posit to you, and I made this argument before with Ali. We said that, look, because there's more than one factor. Because Qudra is, is, a, is a matter of Ishtihad. Qudra, which means ability. Yes. It's a matter of Ishtihad no, means... So, so, so what kind, Ishtihad means scholarly ability and uh, to, to discern. I right? So there's a lower and upper limit when it's... Um, generically acceptable yeah, uh, sexual yeah, just one thing and then Ali's going to say something. But my other yeah, question, yeah. so earlier you suggested that uh, the Quran in some places only needs exegesis and the scholars come together and you said some Arabic words and they come together and then, so I, I'm asking over time then, so at the time of the Prophet obviously there weren't huge schools of Islamic thought or scholars, there were just the companions and You're right. believers, so as time goes on, and you mentioned the law within this country I'm assuming of yes. consent, do do those, obviously they're human, but do you imagine that those things are heavily influencing their scholarly... Yeah, 100%. Um, and they should do as well. Yeah. Because the, here's, what, here's what people don't understand. Here, here's what people don't understand about, and this is what I wanted to say to you before you... Uh, here's what I want to say to you. Look, every environment is different, okay? Islam is not... The Islamic law is not a rock in the sense that it's unmalleable, unflexible, and... So it's like science in that respect. In the sense, it's, there is a, a degree of elasticity, and that's what yeah. usul is all about is to see, okay, what, what, what works well in this situation? What counts as harm in this situation? What counts as necessity in this situation? And the answer to that question is different. So for me now, if, you, if I bring someone, my man, I say, look, we go to a primary school, year six, yeah? Year, uh, year five, year six. I don't understand those year seven. Year five, year six, year, 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 year 10, 11 year olds, yeah? Yep. If we go to those ages, and I, you, I promise you anywhere in London, anywhere in the UK, are any of these kids ready for well, marriage? So Absolutely not. Hope, not but the oh, thing oh, is, no, in, you don't know about a million years. Yeah, five years. No, because, because believe me, they're it's, they're it's they're happening they're now. They're having sex behind the bushes. Yeah, yeah. They're, 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 yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they're not ready for marriage. No, no, no. no, no they no, don't no. go Should, off and get married. But me and you agree on this, yeah? All right, so me and you agree on this. Why? The reason why is, listen to this. We would both say that it contradicts their ability, yeah? So it would harm them. Yes. Okay, anything that harms anybody is not allowed. You end up married. Yeah, it's not allowed. All right, so if it's because the 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 qaeda that we have, which is similar to a liberal thing, is. The primary thing that we would agree on is because it's simple. So God ordains that man and woman should join together. This is what I say to you, look, this is what I call Sharia consequentialism, yeah? Yeah. Question: Why is it wrong to have sex with, with a one-year-old? Forget about. Okay, I'd explain that. I'd say physically it's damaging. Perfect. Morally it's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, within the context of God's law, God does not prescribe that Good. in any way. All right, but if, if if we had out of the picture for a second, if I. And it's morally. No. Uh, Jesus does in the Old Testament, though. No, no. We're, 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 that is we're disgusting. Talking. Please don't talk to me. So okay, for, if we, we'll forget Jesus. about Jesus for now. I'm just, sorry to say, but I'm not, we love Jesus as well. Apparently. No, we do. But it's Isa. It's the same that. person, but no, it's just a different name. Yes. Listen, I can't really tell. Not. I'll debate you on oh, another time. Another time. Another day, another discussion. Another Sunday. All right, but what I was going to say to you is this, is that, look, if it's, you're saying it's wrong, primarily because of the harm, yeah. the consequences of it, right? Because okay. I have the mental capacity so, to okay. look at that and judge Perfect. That. No, I totally agree with you, yeah. right? So what I'm saying is that if this, I we would call it causative reasoning, yes. did not exist, then it wouldn't be wrong. No, if, if, if nobody ever saw the wrong in something. Perfect. So it's consequentially wrong. 
well, it's, it's wrong as physically wrong because it's, it's a gut reaction as well. You fine. would say that's disgusting. But you saw if that you can intuit something which is consequentially wrong, something which is intuitively wrong is not always um, uh, it's not no, it's not always categorically always wrong. Match, now you can have something. They, they, they let me explain. You can have something which is intuitively wrong, yes. but consequentially, okay. right? You can have something. It's intuitively right for drug right, addicts right. to take drugs, but, but it's consequentially wrong, which means it's wrong because X Y Z. Yeah. All right. You can explain why. Yes. Right. Now I'm saying that. With that explanation, I agree with you. If you don't have that explanation, I, then we say it's not wrong anymore. Yeah. Therefore, 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 what I'm, what I'm positing to you is a scientific approach. I'm saying to you that if the person's age is 15, yeah, it could be wrong, depending on that person. If she's 16, it could be wrong. No, 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 I'm talking morally. Morally, look, if you've got a 16 year old, I'm saying it could be wrong, yeah? And it could be right, depending on the, that person's on the age of the man yeah. as well. You know, not only just that, but, but that person no, themselves, I mean, right? It could, be wrong. Man, it could be wrong. It could be wrong. It could be wrong. Right. Depends on what? The variables. Yeah. yeah. Depends on if it harms them or not. But legally, do you agree? We, yes. Legally, we decide that a minimum age. But legally, is a different story, right? Because okay, that's the democratic reason. Within society, we have Fine. all decided that 16 is the lower age. No problem. That, in it's this country, it's not even a question. Yeah. Of, that's in this country, by the way. Yes. And yeah. there are other countries have chosen 15, yeah, 14, whatever, 12. 14, 12. Yeah. No problem. So having said what I'm trying Some to say, places don't have any uh, age. No, no, yeah, exactly. No problem. So what I'm saying to you is this: is that if you say it's wrong because of the harm factor, yeah, 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 so, per per perfect. Yeah, I'm saying to you, I agree with you. Look, Islam agrees with you. Yeah, Islam agrees with you. So I'm saying, so long as that cause is not there no more, then we can't say it's wrong no more, is it? Each of us is a scientist to approach a relationship but, uh, and no, say, look, oh, I see that that girl will be physically it's not always a harmed me yeah, but it's not always a scientific or emotionally thing. harmed because you, you don't yet know that But society it's is designed, like you said. Yes, yes. So, so, After years so, 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 so. of trial yeah, and error. Yeah, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Because if you really think about the, you know, when did this change? It changed in 1929, yeah? Yeah. When you had the marriage act change from 4 to 20, well, yeah, sorry, 12 to 15. Previously, within 15. Victorian times, women didn't menstruate anyway until around no 17. No problem. But the point is, here's what I'm saying to you. Before the, eight, before the year 1929, changed, yes. before that, parad that legal paradigm 18, shift, no, no, it was 12 years old, yeah? If you look at the, the, the marriage act 1929, it was 12 years old. Before that time, what I'm saying to you is that, was it the case that all women that were having intercourse at that age were harmed? I would, I would suggest yes. All of them, 100%. No, 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 I, that's not correct. It's just, there's no evidence you for can't, that. You can't prove the opposite. No, no, no. Because you don't know all of those women. The burden of proof is on the one who's making the claim. You, you are making the claim. No, no, I'm making it. You're asking the question, were they all damaged? And I would say, okay, on the oh. whole, maybe some who were No, 15, but that's a claim. Some who were 15 years old and 364 days, maybe they were fine. <laughs> no, no, no. So, so that's I'm a ridiculous saying, claim. I'm saying, in general, yeah. girls under 16 are not emotionally not in or general, physically fine. ready to but have what, a baby. Not and sex... Because 18 no, no, years old, you're physiologically, you've stopped listen, growing, your womb is you're, 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 you're still thinking ahistorically. Um, no, no, I'm not saying it didn't happen. No, 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 I'm not saying that, that either. I'm saying to you, look, if you get an 11-year-old's testimony at the, in the year 1905... They say it's absolutely great. They may say, I've got to leave home, i got to go off with this guy. But that doesn't mean no, 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 to damage them. And that damage may not come out until no, but, they're in their 40s. No, but then, then if you're saying... Say that guy if you're, no, no problem. But if you're saying that is the case, yep. that there was wide-scale epidemic um, harm of women because of that, or men for that matter, Girl, then what you have to... Girls having up to 10 if, children in those No, but days, I understand. But, but, but can itself. I just finish this point? The point is that... You never have a baby, so I don't know why you're pulling... So, I've so, had one. I know it's quite damaging. No problem. You have kids, but one. Do, but listen to me. And what I'm saying is, you can't possibly prove that all women under the age of 16 no, no, are damaged. No, I can't. All right. Now, to having said no, that, if you go to uh, what you have to do as a historian, then yeah. is you, this is, uh, let me give you uh, or someone a tip. Contemporary no. references. Okay. And do you mind if I just finish the sentence, please? Oh, you've been going for ages. Go on. Now, just let me finish the sentence, and then you can say what you want. What I'm saying is this: is that. If you, you wanted to do a historical project, which is done in many universities in London, in the UK, in the US, in the Western world, the effect of, um, let's say, pre-teen marriage, yeah, yeah, for the sake of argument, the effects of pre-teen mar yeah, yeah. pre okay. marriage on uh, women or girls or whatever, on females, do you suppose use neutral language. Do you suppose that within those societies that Can I just finish? Permissible, I'm just going to, just an addendum. Do you find that in those societies where it's permissible, they're going to do any studies of damage? No, no, just let me finish what I'm saying. You, you would have to, like what well, I'm telling you, what you would do academically. Yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd know, make... I'm, I'm studying it. Oh, I know what you do academically. No, no, I'm giving you an example, right? 
So you'd, ha you'd have something like the effects of preteen marriage on yeah, ex society on and girl, uh, on females in ex society from a from time X to time Y. Yeah. Then you'd have to go and get micro historical reports yes. of like diary entries and stuff. Yeah, oh, I, I was so har harmed and whatever. Now I'm saying to you, that, look, so if you can produce this evidence and actually take into consideration well, the counter. Produce the evidence for all, because that's the, that's the point. That's the point. That's impossible, right? Produced. Exactly. But that's why you asked the question. Oh, brilliant. So we come to a conclusion now. So if it's not all, then it's conceivable possibly that a thousand years ago, that a ten, nine, ten-year-old would not be harmed in these ways. That is, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all we're saying. Well, if that's I mean, is, is there any other example? That's all we need to say. Ali, also, please. Also, can is, I there, is there any Frank, other example? Apart from. Yeah. And you know, and you know, regarding uh, this is the Quran. Uh, I think. Oh, so the Quran says that divine law is unalterable. This gentleman. Okay. So that was my so whole point. If, if God has said it's all right, to do what? But well, we're not saying God said it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah we we'll agree with that. This, this argument that's recently arisen is David Wood's video. I don't know if you've seen it. Okay, so we recently, sorry, and we're going to be doing a video very soon. So the argument here is. In those. You need to listen. It's very important for you, yeah? So the argument here is that it's talking about that if a woman doesn't menstruate, it shows that Islam allows. She's a girl. Yeah. Well, it's easy. Should I tell you something? David Wood's done a video. I'm going to answer in 22 seconds. 22 seconds. Look at the camera then. Okay, are you guys ready? <laughs> please, please. <laughs> okay, the Prophet was married to Aisha at six, yeah? Yes. Okay, before the Prophet consummated marriage at nine, eight. Aisha said No problem, no problem. We want to make our guests happy. Eight. Uh, you know what? Make it seven and a half. Yeah, like a jazz. No Aisha problem. Aisha said okay. eight. Okay. Seven and a half. She said nine, actually. Then you're lying. Okay, eight. Eight. No. Eight. Okay. Eight. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, we believe Aisha was... A, we believe... We believe... Let me finish the point. Let me finish my point. <laughs> this is... Well, well, it's very easy to be answerable, yeah. Yeah? yeah? If the Prophet divorced Aisha at the age of seven, this Quran verse, you can see in action. Why? Because firstly, they've got a marriage contract. Secondly, the Prophet divorced her before she was menstruating. Yeah? So yeah. your argument here that the Quran says He's that you can... Made this point. No, 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 you're, 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 no I, think, you, I think you understand me. No, he's, he's, going, he's, going through, look, he's going through other scholars and how they understood it. I'm seeing you very clearly. The Prophet's marriage to Aisha. You know where it says the Idda period for a girl that's not menstruating? Yeah. David Wood is using this argument to say that basically you can have intercourse with a girl that is... Um, uh, um, no, you that, can divorce a girl. Yes. That's what the Quran says. Okay, so, so, David so I'm, Woods, I'm, I'm brilliant, saying... by the way. Yes, yes, yes. He's not going to really be so brilliant. Hello, David. After what he jabbed it to yeah, him, yeah, yeah, I, don't, you know, I don't think he's so brilliant. I don't think he's so brilliant. I, think he's I, mean, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, look at this guy's face. Do you remember that moment, yeah? yeah we all saw that moment, yeah? What is David Woods, David Woods' career finished, but I think... Ask David. Can you... David and Samson on the screen. Madam, can you... Please, 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 Okay. The Prophet married Aisha at six and he consummated at nine. If we believe that she started menstruating at that age, if the Prophet divorced her at the age of seven, she is a woman that's been divorced that is not menstruating. Listen, case closed. Only that's, that's it. No, well, the case is still open. Okay, please, that's in the Quran. No, it hasn't been aggregated. Please, 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 please. So why you said please address it? I just thought we concluded quite nicely, no, 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 but 65 God says you can divorce a girl who is pre-menstrual. It doesn't talk about consummation or otherwise. So I can interpret that and so can everybody else that's as either that's with that's or without that's sex. That's what I'm so it doesn't say a girl who is not yet menstruated and you haven't yet menstruated. Yeah, you would. So You're right. But then... No, but that's what I'm saying. Pardon? That's what I'm saying. Because I believe this, this, this issue between six and nine, the three-year gap, has been so troubling for David Wood that he had to do a whole video of 22 minutes. You're going to pick him up, don't worry. Yeah? No problem. 
so the, so what it what it shows us very clearly is that when you divorce a woman that is not menstruating, no. what you guys don't understand is that you think when you get married and consummation happens, stomachly it doesn't. You can have a contract which the prophet did with Aisha at six, yeah, and if the prophet right. defi- if he the prophet decided to divorce her at age. He will be divorcing a so girl that is not mentioned in the menstrual, the menstrual cycle, right. so it will fit this Quran verse perfectly. It would, because, but it's so, not so about thank you. Because he didn't divorce her, and he did, her, did, and he did oh sleep God. with her it, eventually. No, 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 at night, where she was an adult. No, eight. She no, said, are you calling her a liar? Where she was an adult. Are you calling Aisha a liar? Okay, seven and a half even. By the way, the hadith says nine. It says eight in brackets, or nine. No, but that's in English, I don't know about English. I know the hadith in Arabic. It's eight and nine in Arabic. I don't know who's, mate, 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 m